Last Friday was supposed to be a night of jubilation at Walter Brown Arena. Boston University's championship banner had barely reached the Raptors before Chris O'Sullivan was celebrating the Terriers' first goal of 1995-96. Eleven seconds later, joy was replaced by horror when freshman Travis Roy skated into a corner for perhaps the last time. me is the fact that we have not seen Travis moving any part of his arms or legs or anything. For, for Travis's mom, the incomprehensible had become reality. Team, our, you know, our biggest, you know, fear coming down was, is he going to play tonight? Is he going to have a, uh, a shift on the ice? And when he first fell, I thought, oh my gosh, his shoulder, his arm, you know, he's, he, what if he has to miss the next game? And you very quickly realize, um, uh, where your priorities lie when suddenly there's they're not going to be another game. No hockey father should have to endure what Lee Roy has gone through this week. We come from a very small town in Maine. It's a community of about 6,000, 7,000 people. And there's a tradition in the town when anything happens, there's a bridge that goes over Main Street. If there's something you want to tell everybody in town, you get a sheet, you paint the message on the sheet, and you hang it there sometime, and it stays up until somebody figures they want to take it down. And the sign that was up there today <laughs> said it all. The community put it up, and it said, pray for Travis. After two days off, BU got on with the business of defending their national championship. This isn't a matter of let's win this for Travis, let's win something big for Travis. I think it's more a matter of let's try to be as good as we can for our teammates, as good as we can for ourselves, and, and, and really make a, an effort to, to dedicate ourselves to be good, good teammates and good friends so that uh, Travis would be proud to be around this team. Um, it definitely makes you put hockey in perspective. I mean, um, you realize that life's just precious and you got to enjoy it, and you gotta, you got to enjoy hockey as well. You gotta, be thankful that you can play so it, it makes you makes you realize a little bit more about life in general you just got to remember that uh travis would want us to be out there working hard and keep going and that's what we're trying to do we're just trying every day at practice just to remember that we got to keep working hard and uh move on and keep going and know that travis is with us i'm not 100 percent healed my neck it's probably in the you know 95 percent but I, I was willing to take that risk to get back on the ice and you know to keep playing because it meant that's you know meant a lot to me and um, but it's just, it, it puts things in perspective, you know, to, you know, get the most out of what, what, you know, what you can do. Although Travis Roy will not skate again this year for the Terriers, his teammates will honor him at every game and at every practice. 